am Brandon. Welcome to my channel, Books in the Shire. I am doing an unhaul today because I need to get rid of some books. My shelves are completely full, so is my book cart. I just, I keep accumulating books and not reading them, and yeah, so I've decided that I'm gonna unhaul some to make space for others, and hopefully that works out. I'm just gonna kind of go through all the books that I'm getting rid of and talk about why I'm getting rid of them. It's not in any particular order or anything, but yeah, let's just get started. First I have Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. This is a graphic novel. Um, I enjoyed it when I read it. I think I gave it three stars, but honestly, I wasn't, I didn't feel the romance in it um, because the whole story, spoiler, um, the whole, whole story is the guy is like trying to tell this other girl that he likes her and his friend, her, is helping him. Um, but then they get together in the end because she's been like pining over him. I don't know. I just felt like he didn't like her at the end. I was like, mm, whatever. So yeah, didn't really enjoy this. I'm just gonna give it to someone who hopefully will. Next, I have The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. Um, I'm unhauling this because it's a duplicate copy. I had forgotten that I ordered the exclusive edition from, I think, Fairy Loot, uh, because I had the first book in that edition, so I ordered the second one, and I forgot I did, so I bought this at Barnes & Noble. I don't need two copies. This is just like a regular edition, um, so I'm gonna get rid of it to make shelf space. Next, I have The Witch Haven by Sasha Payton Smith. I DNF'd this at like 200, 250 pages. Um, I think it had a really interesting premise, but honestly, it was really slow for me, and I just didn't care about the characters or the plots. I, I don't know what else to say about it. It was like a fine book. I'm sure there's some people who really enjoyed it because I think it has a pretty decent premise and setup, but for me it just like wasn't what I was looking for. Next I have Seasons of the Storm by El Casimano, I think that's how you say it. Um, I tried reading this maybe like a month or so ago. Um, I read probably five or so chapters and I had bought this book right when it came out. I was really excited for it. I It sounded really great. I liked the premise. My reading tastes have changed greatly. It's just not something I'm really interested in. I think if I had read it when I first bought it, I would have loved it. But as of right now, it's just like, mm, it reads a little young for me, even though it's not really that young. It's just YA, but it doesn't, it's not too young, but it read a bit young for me. Um, I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I just wasn't totally vibing. I think this could be, I think this would be a really good book. It just like probably is not for me at the moment. So I'm just going to unhaul it. Hopefully someone else will enjoy it. Next I have Tales from the Hinterland by Melissa Albert. This is a companion book to... The Hazelwood series. Um, so basically, if you don't know, The Hazelwood is about this young girl who her grandma is like famous for writing these fairy tales and shit happens basically. The fairy tales are coming to life. Um, I read The Hazelwood, I think, two years ago and I enjoyed it. It was a fine book, but it was not what I was expecting. Um, so I think that really influenced my feelings towards the book. I thought it was okay, but I loved the fairy tales in the book. Whenever the author was mentioning them or put in excerpts from the fairy tales, I was really vibing those. And so this is a collection of those fairy tales in one book. So I was really excited to pick this up because I was like, even though I didn't enjoy that book, I think I'll really enjoy this. So I bought this like right when it came out. I read it, I think last year and it was fine. Um, it wasn't what I wanted it to be again because it's sold as like creepy fairy tales. And honestly, I don't think they were that creepy. There were creepy elements, but it never like went far enough into the horror for me. I enjoyed some of the stories. Actually, I enjoyed basically all of the stories. They just weren't dark and creepy enough for me, so that's why I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Um, and I just don't see myself rereading it, and it's not bringing me joy, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Next, I have Fable by Adrienne Young. I recently talked about this in my March wrap-up, but I gave this book two stars. I wasn't really vibing it. I think it's a fine book. I think a lot of people would really enjoy it. It just wasn't for me, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Next, I have Shatter Me by Tara Moffey. I read this earlier this year and I gave it two stars. I did not enjoy it. Um, it actually really frustrated me. Um, I had read it years ago in high school and I remember loving it and then I just never continued with the series. So I wanted to revisit this year so I could continue with the series, but I didn't like this, so I'm not gonna keep going. Um, I think if it was third person, I would have enjoyed it more. I don't mind the characters or the plot that much. I just really hate Juliet. She's super annoying. And her inner monologue, I cannot stand. So not going to keep going. Going to get rid of this because it makes me upset when I see it. <laughs> Next, I have After Love by Tanya Byrne. 
This came in a fairy loot or owl crate box. I don't remember which and it was like an additional book in that box. I didn't know it was going to come in it. And honestly, I don't really care. It doesn't sound that interesting to me. It's a really pretty addition, but I just, it doesn't sound like something I would be interested in. I don't think I'm going to read it anytime soon. It's just not really something I'm intrigued by. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Next, I have The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. Again, this is another book that came in an Owl Crater Fairy Loot box. I can't remember which. Um, so it's a special edition. This is like a vampire romance in high school, which... Like, reading the synopsis, I'm not totally against reading it. I just don't think I'm going to get to it anytime soon. I don't really care to. And if I do ever want to pick it back up, I'll see if it's on Scribd or, like, I can get it from my library because I'd rather do that. So this one's going to go. And then last I have The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinkowski. Um, this is, I believe, a, yeah, it's a Fairy Loot exclusive edition. Um, and I tried reading this, I think, earlier this year, maybe the end of last year. I got... I, like 150, 150 pages in. Um, and it wasn't like a bad book by any means. I just, I just didn't really care for it. I thought that concept was interesting, but I didn't care enough about the characters or the plot to keep going. The beginning was interesting, but then it kind of lost me about 75 pages in and I was like, I'm just not gonna keep going. I felt like if I had finished reading, it would have been like a three stars and I wouldn't have won it. I wouldn't have cared or anything. So I probably would have unhauled it anyways, even if I had finished. So whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. Those are all the books that I have that I'm gonna unhaul. Um, I'm gonna list them on Pango Books. So if you're interested in any of them, I will link my Pango account down below so you can um, purchase them. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.